Halos limang taon ng nakalipas ng huli tayong nagkita-kita. Di ko maalala yung exact date ng last cabinet meeting natin. Ang naalala, ang naalala ko lang, yung pakiramdam ko pagkatapos ng ating term. I suppose lahat tayo parang meron tayong sigh of relief. Ay, salamat sa Diyos at nakaraos din tayo. Yan din sa palagay ko ang naramdaman ni Pinoy noong alas 12 ng tanghali, noong June 30, 2016. So almost talaga exactly uh, five years ago. Aminin natin, aminin natin lahat, hindi madali magsilbi sa gobyerno at sa gabinete. At lalong hindi, madali maglingkod sa gabinete ni Pinoy. Bilang isang boss, demanding siya. Mabusisi at walang pinipiling oras. Walang weekend weekend sa kanya, palibasa binata. At kaya wala siyang konsep konsepto ng overtime. Kasi para kay Pinoy, ang public service dapat all the time at any time. Pero kahit demanding si Pinoy at kahit hindi naman niya madalas ipakita, concern na concern naman siya sa ating mga miyembro ng kanyang official family. Dear friends, tonight, I bow low and lay down my green archer's arrow to pay tribute to pay tribute to a great son of the Ateneo. My president, I will miss you. And I will miss your ribbing during UAAP seasons. Your witty congratulatory messages when Lasalle chances a win. In several interviews the last two days, I was asked several times why a Lasallian joined this Athenian cabinet. Hindi naman ako kaklase. Lalong hindi ako kabarilan. Hindi naman ako matalik na kaibigan. Hindi rin ako kababayang tagatarlak. Kahit nagaling ako, kami sa magkaribal na eskwelahan, pareho naman naming minahal ang bayang Pilipinas ng tunay at tapat. Nung patapos na ho ang, ang termino ng presidente, sabi niya sa akin, pre, maghanda ka na. Kasi pag wala na tayo sa pwesyo, iba na ang mundo. Nasubukan ko na yan. Nung presidente ang nanay ko, nung nawala na, iba na. Pinoy was so ready to step down and he was so looking forward to it. And that is why ayon niyo nung Epal. Kaya ho, pag may, pag may bagyo, earthquake, sinasabi nila, bakit ang tagal niyo pumunta? Dapat the next day pumunta na kayo. Dapat the day, two days later pumunta na kayo. Sec babes, sec balls, alam niyo yun, di ba? Alam niyo po ba kung bakit? Sabi ni Pinoy, bakit tayo pupunta doon ngayon? Manggugulo lang tayo. At imbis ayusin ng mga alkalde, ng military, yung mga tao na naapektuhan, tayo pang, aala, tayo pang aalalahanin nila. They will, they will have to take care of us. Sabi niya, bigyan niyo muna ng pagkakataon na ayusin yung immediate concerns. Tsaka tayo pumunta para Pagdating natin doon, dala natin solusyon. Hindi tayo nagdadagdag ng problema. Yun po ang pangulo natin. That was Pinoy. Sensya na po kayo. I'm not gonna talk about him as president. I'm gonna talk to me about him as a person. Hindi Epal, hindi Wang Wang. He supported the human development programs with meticulous questioning on results. You cannot give generalities or motherhood statements. It has to be logical, within budget, and reasonable time frame. 
we have to remember and keep our records because he remembers the numbers you give him. He will quote you the first numbers you gave him if you will give him a different number in a subsequent report. He believes in transparency and accountability in its highest forms. We will remember how he brings out the calculator to show the wrong addition that you have made. However, he will patiently walk you through what he means if he thinks and feels that you did not understand. He had done that several times in groups. He is a very private and grieves with people he is comfortable with. After Jesse died, a small group reflected with him and had a private crying session. He has a very wry sense of humor. Whenever we come for meals, he always says, especially yung mga kasamahan naming mga med-diabetes, sasabihin niya palagi sa amin, kay Sek Prosi, kay Hill, at sa akin, hindi masarap ang dessert. Huwag kayong kakain dahil hindi yan masarap. Many became disappointed and even angered. We are breaking many rice bowls, he told me in one of our candid chats. And so, he persevered, trusting his values as his compass, always the national interest and the people's welfare prevailed. That's what Pinoy would have wanted. That was his brand of leadership. By example, by high moral standards, by adherence to his values, by appealing to the best in us, by aspiring for what can be, by trusting that in the end, good will prevail over evil. Sir, it is my honor, as I'm sure it is for everyone here, to have been in the foxhole with you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to serve. Thank you for your leadership and your example. Thank you for the memories. Let me end. Rene having broken the ice with a paraphrase of a line from a song that is often heard in these grounds. Win or lose, it's the Philippines we choose.